Hello. Oh, oh. <clears throat> oh, instantly starting the stream with clearing my throat. How professional. Hey everyone, how's it going? You okay? Uh, who we got? We got we got Jerry, we got Mac, Easy, Hans is in, probably gonna bug me to drink war, which I'm not going to, because this is a game that involves drinking, an actual real drinking game, so what the fuck would I not drink? Uh what's we got? Uh oh shit, True's here? Hey, True from Discord. How's it going? You alright? I haven't caught you live before. Yeah, good to see you in the stream, man. Uh, hey, Pokey Love, not inside me. Please present yourself, far so I may put all my nut inside of you. How are we all doing, guys? You alright? Everyone got their drinks? I know I sure have. We're back with Valhalla. You hear that? That's the sound of a good night. Oh, I'm actually very hungover from last night, admittedly. Um, my family came over. Well, my mum's side of the family. The, the lame side of the family, as I call them. <laughs> I mean, they're alright. I love my family, but... They're, they're the kind of... They're my side of the family who I don't really talk to a lot, you know? They're the awkward side. You know you've got that one side of the family who's, like, super cool and awesome, and no matter how weird you are, they always love you, and they always acknowledge you. And they give you the time of day every single time. You feel like you're part of it. Uh, this one not so much. So yeah, I just I just sat in the corner and drank. <laughs> I had about four cans of Guinness and about three glasses of Cham of Champagne. And I was yeah, I, I I was pretty fucked last night. Uh this morning I woke up at about eleven o'clock. Had my breakfast at twelve. That's usually lunchtime for me. So yeah, I'm a little bit knackered, but. This is Valhalla, and we cannot not drink to Valhalla that involves serving beers to people. So, what the fuck? I hope you guys got your drinks, because I know I have. Ah. Alright. I am streaming, Nick. You better stop stream streaming. Better stop sleeping. I'm not streaming. How's it going? You alright, Nick? Hey, Lynx is here. Uh... Your mum's size is a boring one as well. Yeah, I feel you, man. Like, my dad's one's alright, but my mum's is uh, is a bit, a little bit high strung, you know, a bit too much. My dad's side of the family left his way and side to play golf. Damn, seriously? Have a ooh, nice drink, Irish. I don't worry about it, Chloe. Do it your own pace, man. Remember, the videos will always be here on the VOD in the archives if you ever want to catch these again. Yeah, Jerry, I, I like my family, but we just never talk. They're, they're really awkward. They're the kind of family where I'll be asked all the questions. And they won't ask me anything, but they actually won't ask me fuck all. Like, I went to Florida this this year, and they just never asked you anything. They're, they're, they're a bit weird. Like, I don't hate them, but, you know, I'm not really... I don't exactly mingle with them too well. So, uh, yeah, I, I just drank. D -d -d Did my thing, you know? Let them have all the fun and games while I just... You know, drank my woos away. That's alright. Family's family, innit? Uh. Hey, Arthur, you alright? Oh, Arthur's here. I haven't caught you live either. We've got Arthur and True in the chat. Everyone say hi to them. And we got a subscription for Seven Mums Firehead. Thank you so much, dude. That's awesome of you. And Skate's here too. We've got a lot of people here. 17 and only 5 minutes in. Well. I better stop messing around and start the game. Because I can tell you stories while the game's playing. While we've got a very attractive character on screen, that would be a better time to start 10 beer stories. Ah, uh, day... F Ooh, day three. So, the way I figured that we're going to go about with Valhalla is that I'm probably going to do a day each stream and then end off. If you're real lucky, say, for example, I'm doing it on a Saturday when I don't have a morning shift the next day, but I'll happily go on for like four or five hours. But, you know, because I've got other people in the house as well, I can't stream too late, unfortunately. And, you know, if people are sleeping and I've got to be quiet. Holds back the commentary a little bit because it means I can't be me, big caveman screamo boy. So. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very hungover. You get the idea. Uh, Alright, let's do this shit. Uh, we looked at the news, we shot for shit. Uh, actually, what else have we got? We've got about 200k. 
Uh, sorry, just 2k. I'm going to be making a lot of mistakes tonight. Uh, because last time we actually bought tea and gave it to someone. I don't know if you can, like, buy drinks in here and give them to people as well. Alright. I can't buy it again, can I? Nah, I can't. Oh, okay, so as soon as you've got the arm, you've got the arm. Why well, be on discount? You know, trying to quit drinking so you're selling dirt. Hmm. This one, maybe? Big caveman screamy boy sounds like a new bio. I should totally add that as a bio. You're alright, Jerry. I'll put that below my little Twitch summary below. So people know exactly what they're in for when they tune in. <laughs> Just move out. Ha! <laughs> Not in London, my friend. Everything's way too fucking expensive over here. Now, country life. About on the, on the arse end of the world. That's where the cheap shit is. But there's no one there. Hence why it's so cheap. But nah. Um... Stick with the city, unfortunately. I'm not drunk, I'm just real fucking tired. Don't worry, there's time for that tonight. Remember, you can't get drunk. No, you can't get hung over if you're already drunk again. Yeah, that's the line. Dana, boss, Dorothy. Yeah, you guys seem to like your Danas and Dorothys quite a bit. Uh, Dorothy's pretty awesome. She, she actually made me laugh out loud last time I saw her, so I hope we'll see her again. And plus, she's actually an interesting character, too. They all, they're all interesting, really. But my big three, for those of you who just tuned in, are Jewel, of course, Dorothy, and Donovan. Those three are my big old three right now. Uh, I might just buy the bill and discount. Click on Jewel in her room. Oh, stuff happens when you click on Jewel. I did not know this. Right. You know what? Fuck it. I'll buy it. I've got cash. I think I've got to keep 700, 800 for my subscription. So I think we should be good. Anything that, like, is optional to give to people, then I'll almost definitely 100% take it. Alright. I'm just scratching your nose and nothing's happening. You mean this? Nah, nothing. We'll go see Donovan D. Dawson, aka the DDD. It's gotta work. Let's do the shit. Thursday, December 15th. Wait, December 15th? Hold on. That's today. That is legit today. <laughs> That's actually today in real time. How meta is that? Man, it's like I'm actually here. X-Force theme. <laughs> it's a pretty amazing coincidence. <clears throat> Alright, let's get on the show. Good evening. Hey. Oh, I get it. Good evening, Gil. How's it going? Oh, hi there. Holy fucking shit. Marry me? Who are you? I was expecting the bar to be different before opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tired thing. <sighs> Wow, that is an Ahoge to end all the Ahoges right there. You guys see this? She's got the fringe, the long hair, glasses, a nice pair of eyes, and she's got the long hair going on. Nice. <laughs> I'd have her poke my eye out with that hair any day. Holy shit. <laughs> Dare, go Titans! Oh. That's who you predicted to be my waifu? Oh, I mean, you know, appearance is a big thing, but we've got to know what she's about as well. We've got to know what the goods are packing as well as, you know, what we're seeing on the outside right now, which is very good. She's got a bit of a tan as well. <clears throat> anyway. Alma. It's a nice name. I quite like her name. Ah. Leonidas! <laughs> Why'd you call him Leonidas? Gideon, he's not Greek. Marcelo? I stumbled across her on my way and asked her if she wanted to tag along. I hope you don't mind. Sure, make yourself at home. What, you all just picked her up? Where's Boss? She didn't put the helmet on again, did she? She went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. Alright. Alma, make yourself nice and comfortable while I prepare. Right, thanks. Just give me about an hour, and I'll be ready for you. Alright, so, this is going to be the stream where we're going to have some uh, audience participation. You guys are going to choose the songs. 
Sounds nice, doesn't it? I will scroll through it, and it's not going to be a vote. Anyone just post in any name of any song you want that is on here, and I'm just going to bash it in on the jukebox. Go. Do it. Now. Attack. Hit me with what you got. Do it. All right, cool. We've got a rebase of Titans. Gotta try and catch up with this. I know there's a lot of you here now. Okay. This one there. Uh, your love is a drug 12 times. I'll do your love is a drug once. Uh, every day is night. Yeah. Can't be a day without it being night. March of the White Knights. Uh, Wonderwall by Oasis. Oasis suck. Don't have them on. You don't mind that every Val had a stream. Snowfall, good choice. Very good scare. I like it. But it's not the remix. Uh, you hold like a hand of a sweater. Free Snowfall. Yeah, easy. You know. Dusk. For some reason, I can't move my mouse right for some reason. Uh, crazy, noisy, bizarre town. I wish. I don't know the songs. Digital Drive. Um, your love is a drug. Neon Districts. Alright, we're almost there. It's quite nice that you guys are choosing. It's nice. I like I like making you guys participate in the stream sometimes. Uh, also, <laughs> these will go away more quickly, I feel, when you guys do it and I don't, as you lot know. Oh, there it is. Alright, I got two more. And holy shit, Trilby! Thank you so much for the 500 bits, man. You are awesome. Oh, hang on, let me thank. I can do that now. Uh, bam, there it is. Ah, oh, cheers, mate. Thanks a lot. You are awesome, man. Tell shared. Chair shared. We're always to tell us in the chat. Ah, oh, everyone's got modes. This is like, ah, oh, man. This is nice, Twitch. I like what you've done. Shrubby, you are awesome. Thank you so much for the bits, man. Really appreciate that, dude. Uh, what else we got? Every day is night. Digital drive. Your love is a drug. Neon District. You want every day is night again? I think we've already got that one there, haven't we? Could have twice if we want to. Show time? Showtime. It's me, Shota. Um, And those who dwell in the shadows. Now will be our last one. It'll be a first come, first serve basis. And just so we can actually, like, not waste half hour with me picking out the songs. Uh... There it is. Cool. We're ready. Let's go. Bam. Let's serve this. <laughs> All right. Time for mixed drinks and change lives. What was that? Oh, just something they made me say back in instruction. Kind of stuck. Huh. Went to a school that made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in. That habit didn't rub off until high school or so. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It becomes a part of you, like, you know? Just how I've always got to do the cleaner's job when the cleaners aren't here at the poolside. Oh, yeah, look at this. A glass with a signature. Oh, from Kira Mickey. To J. J. Uh. Fingers. I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. Oh, you're dumb as hell. I love you. Holy fuck, this track. Somehow I knew someone was going to say every day is great at your juniors. Hello, Duda. How's it going? You alright? Welcome to the stream. Put the jukebox on shuffle. Uh, I can do that. I can. Fuck it. Let's do it. Sweet. Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah. Now I see her name here. You don't seem very surprised. I like B Link more, actually. The story looking duo, right? Yep, those. Seems you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. I see. Oh shit, she's free, lads. You know what that means? And ladies. Ah. 
But Phil, I am home. Are you home? How's it going, mate? You alright? Good to see you again. <laughs> Back off. No, she's mine. You can't have a Hannah. You don't seem very surprised. Oh my, we've known each other for, well, a few months now. I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further in a week or two. How are they only lasting for a week or two? I mean, look at her. What comes out of her mouth to put people off her exactly? You say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time to foster something to break. It's more like, the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. Ah, uh, you could pretend to be more interested, you know. Like, my mum says, if I don't buy it. Dude, you could just not talk and you still be perfect. I mean, well, that's a bad thing sometimes. <laughs> okay, let's not go there. Like my mum says, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? A frame? Yeah, for all those pics you have of your boss. The ones filling your phone's memory. <laughs> oh, that's uh. Hey, look, it's an emote. Would you look at that? <laughs> Some seem sneakily taken of that. Oh, nice. Our oh, shots of Dana. Let me see. <laughs> Ooh, Josh. Just anything easy. The back peddling. Uh, hey, hello, Spaz. How's it going? You always come the most perfect times, my friend. Gotta go before I pop into stream say I can't watch stream. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're still keeping that joke alive, Phil. Take it easy, man. Good to see you again, man. Have yourself a good night. Oh, Mike, what are you doing? Is she tech psychic? In a moat from this game? Nah. Oh, the bit mug. Fuck, you're right. You... Say goodbye to Majima. You're going to be seeing him this stream. Only hearing him. Which is also a win, really, when you think about it. What do you care? How the hell did you find that out? So it is true. Shut up! I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't piss off a hacker. Oh, shit. Oh, she's a hacker. Hmm. Um, I recall one of the news articles being about um, hackers being part of the... What was it? Like a protest? An organization? You have to forgive me. It's been a week since I played this game. I'll have to look up on the lore again when we get back to... Um, when we get back home. Oh, my God. Speaking of not seeing Majima, but hearing him. Neon! Look at you gifting your subs once again. Thank you so much, mate. That's lovely of you. Scarecrow, easy code. Known to you. And Phil, enjoy the emotes, my guys. Thank you so much, Neon. You are absolute mad friggin' lad. Love you, man. Thank you so much. Oh, I really like this one. I first sleep in her office. I think I'll copy it. Jesus, Jill. Y you, oh my god. <laughs> Taking pictures of people as they sleep. Yeah, Jill is still a wife. Hey, can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? I'll give you a bad touch, right? Am I once a. A bad touch. Hey man, don't start when you say bad touch. You gotta own that shit. Especially if someone's asking for it. All right. Bad touch. Bad touch is two Bronson. Ooh. Oh, I've got a shortcut. There we go. The uh, technique that Irish taught me before. Two Delta. There we go. I'm perfecting it. Oh, sh Oh no, I can't get a fuck top because it's not optional. Unless I get her a big one. Oh, she didn't ask for a big one, did she? All on the rocks. And mixed. With nothing but- Hey, It's the song! It's the Bloodhound Gang song! I love it. References are all good in this game. Still like how bad touch is a classy drink, of course. You can make anything classy when you put your mind to it. Especially a bad touch. You listened to bad touch just yesterday. <laughs> Do a double size. Oh my god. 
sounds familiar with the duo. Oh, all too familiar, Skir. No, not love how Jewel just starts cracking up with a bad touch. Get super drunk. It's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. Uh, should I give her a big one? Should give her a bigger bad touch. You know what? The best way to learn about someone is when they're pissed out of their mind. Let's do it. Let's give her a big one, boys. Biggest bad touch she'll ever get. Let's do it. Enjoy your vital bad touch. I'm going to stop saying bad touch now. Here you go. Do more anime reactions? Oh, bloody hell. I don't know. I mean, we're not exactly an anime reaction channel, to be honest. Plus, I doubt we'll have time either. I mean, JoJo reactions are still going. But, uh... Oh, she's got eyelashes as well. Like, look at those little pixels, man. Look. Sorry, but... Eyelashes like that on like... I know it sounds real sad, but anime lines like that on a drawn character... Uh, oh, no. I just find it real cute. I think it's a real cute design choice for eyelashes on these kinds of characters. Don't know if that's just me or not. Always go big. Always and forever. Yeah! <laughs> I'm awkward if, if anyone asks me for a bad touch. At least not a gut punch, true. This is one big bad... Yeah! You know it! Say it! Say it! Are you hitting on me? You... <laughs> Guilty as charged? You wish. No. <laughs> so... Who's Damien again? Oh, the nice car. Sure, he's also the manager at the bank, but that car was what caught my eye. Oh, she's a gold digger? Oh, no, I have no chance. I'm poor as fuck. And what was wrong with him? It's alright. A chase is better than the catch sometimes. Turns out he was a LARPer. LARP? Live action role playing. What? Live action role playing? Fucking. What? Hang on a minute. <laughs> Try to process how that works exactly. So it's role playing, but it's live action. I've never heard of LARPing before, ever. I've actually never heard of it before. I'm officially a LARP virgin until now. Did not even, I know about role playing, but what the hell is live action role playing? Is it just the same thing? Oh, so it's just role playing, but you dress up. So it's role playing. So it's just role playing. Oh, okay. It's just a more complicated, dumb way of saying role playing. I get you. Sounds more like the nickname of some very heavy handed writer or a military organization. What do you role play as? Have you heard of the Woodstock Fairs? He dressed up as like a hippie. There's events where people barely dress, stink, roll in the mud, and fuck in the open. Hey, sounds like my kind of festival. Those are hippies, yeah. <laughs> All I can say is beware of the Welsh ones. My great aunt actually was once a hippie, and she used to go to Woodstock all the time. And man, the stories that came out of her, holy shit. <laughs> man, those Welsh know how to party, I tell you what. I can't escape from them. A lot of my family on my mum's side are all Welsh. They all sheep. They all shag sheep. <laughs> hey, I can make out my own family. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of them. I had about nine, no, eight, nine. I lose count. I've got about eight or nine great aunts who are all Welsh. It's a bit terrifying when they're all in the same room. A lot of cheek pinching. They hurt a lot after. Laughing a complex heaven versus hell campaign. Sounds hot. Hello, Don Crow. How's it going? Welcome to the chat. Do I use a headphones mic or a separate mic? I use a separate mic. My mic is a blue Yeti. Just get it off Amazon. You get a choice of color as well. It's nice. I've got a blue one because it's sleek. Uh, the last one I had lasted me for about a year and a half, a little bit. Until the cable started getting all fucked up and... You know what psychotechnical stuff. They just tend to act up after like a year. Uh, that was the last span, my last one. I've got this one for about three months and it works just fine. Sheep shagging is the go-to thing. Do you know why? Because they hate it. They're too passionate for their own damn good. You say anything stereotypical about them, they'll absolutely hate you for it. And it's 
It's lovely, it's glorious. You got Welsh cousins? Ah, uh, Welsh, Welsh cousins. Nice. The park on our campaign is gonna do LARP as our characters. Hmm. LARP on the condition I get the most ridiculous hat in the group. Speaking of ridiculous hats, we were playing Christmas games last night. They were kind of lame, but one of them was... So, my, my mother, right? She's lovely. But the game she makes up, uh, are, like, they're so bad, they're good. So, one of them was Pass the Parcel. Yes, I know. Incredibly old-fashioned, right? But, it wasn't just Pass the Parcel where you get prizes and shit. It was a bag for the presents. You pass it around, you open the presents, but it weren't even prizes. It was shit you had to wear. Like glasses with antlers on, uh, and a big like Father Christmas beard, you know, all that like stupid Christmas stuff. But one of them um, was actually pretty impressive. It was a hat. It was a big ass Christmas tree hat. And it was all made out of tinsel with baubles and a star. And I was like, <laughs> it was actually pretty impressive. I didn't get it, I was very jealous. But it was a massive Christmas tree hat, about twice the size of someone's head. Now that was fucking ridiculous. Probably the highlight of the night, to be honest. Everything else kind of sucked, as you guys know from the introduction of this video. Oh, I like this song. Yeah, you heard me, Irish. Antlers on glasses. You know, the little flimsy plastic ones. Really like dumb Christmas shit. Has to be done, though. A D and D campaign with some friends that's basically morphed into a JoJo's campaign. Hey, if there's going to be any D and D campaign that I'd ever join and actually be, you know, full on with, it would be a JoJo one, hundred percent. Holy shit! How would they even work? You know what? Don't tell me, just in case I ever do one day. That sounds very promising. Those are hippies. Yeah. He frequents those, and it's something I'd rather not deal with at all. Is she basically a waifu anime Cartman? Because if she is, I'd happily fuck the shit out of her. If I stayed with him, I'd eventually have to. <laughs> I mean, I need to support my partner and what he does, but if it's something like that... You see? That's a problem right there. You say breaking up like you had something formal, but most of the time you're still getting to know him. Think about it. You ever ended your longest lasting relationship for things like those? Okay, so if I'm not using the right word or whatever, I'm still sorely disappointed. Now, at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? Last night. Oh! With a cat. <laughs> yeah! I knew you should be the cat. God damn it. Hey man, a cat counts. You know. As long as it's just platonic shit. Well, we talked about that last stream. We're not talking about it again. A year ago, it was messy. See? I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. Hey man, people come and people go. If I were you, I would have pushed Fuckboy over there into a closet ages ago! Ha! <laughs> he totally is though! <laughs> He's got the look! Not the personality, okay, maybe kind of the personality, but definitely the look, man. Holy shit. As soon as I saw him, I was like, boy band! <laughs> Game Fook Boy confirmed. Not oh, all poor girls are fuck boy. Not all. Oh. Looking bad for all fuck boy. Gideon fuck boy. He does look like one though. Bless him. I love him, but he does look like a fuck boy. I love him, but holy shit, man. Bless him. People have different needs and priorities. Yes, but don't you miss having the reward for someone else at your side? Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs. Putting your head on their chest, listening to them breathe as they pet your head, stop it, that's wholesome as hell. Dozing off knowing they're there, watching you, protecting you. See, that's the real NSFW right there. Wholesome shit. Wholesome, naked, passionate shit. I have many kinks, but a loving relationship is my kink, my biggest one at least. Aww. And I'm gonna type gross shit in three, two, one. Jill? If I can make a sharpened drink. Oh, that, did that hit Jill? Don't worry, Jill. 
I'll be there for you. If I was fictional! I'll have you know that my uncle, what one, taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Drinking won't stop me from talking or making tasteless puns for Hot Rosa. Still, give me something weird, would you? Ha, huh, ventriloquism. Weird. A weird drink? Something different. Experimental. Uncommon? Oh, bloody hell. So I could get the most hipster drink in the entire world, have I? Hannah, help me out with this! A weird drink. Hmm. Promo drinks fit that bill easy. Promo drinks. Alright. Uh. Hmm. Alright. Let's get the weirdest fuck of a drink that we can ever have. Uh. Let's do a drink we haven't served before. I believe we served Piano Woman to Dorothy. And a Piano Man to, uh. Oh, what's her name? Uh, Kim? Was it Kim? I think she had a Piano Man before as well. Let's see what we got. Uh. This one's kind of unbearable. It's mostly for fans of the movie it was used in. Grizzly Temple. Bitter promo and bland. Boom light. Uh, it's so unnecessarily brown. Ugh. Give us something nice. Zen Star is four of each, of each ingredient. Of each ingredient. Now that sounds weird. You think something so balanced would actually taste nice? You'd be dead wrong. Yeah, we're going with that one. Four of each one. Let's go. Such a nice sound effect. Uh, on the rocks. And just like that, we've got ourselves a full house. You can't make it big. It's just a massive drink overall. <laughs> He's got you there, Hannah. He's also incredibly right. Z at the end is pretty hipster. You know what? You you make a valid point, Neon. But this one has literally every single ingredient you can ever think of. Maybe one day we'll find one that has every ingredient as aged as well. Who knows? But yeah, this is a good one. And blended too. That'd be nice. Perfectly balanced. As it should be. Let's do it! Mm. I like the glass. Enjoy. Yeah. Well, this puts on you on the TV. Yeah, that kind of suits her air a little bit. Yeah, this fits the bill. Yay, got him. It's a promotional drink made to commemorate a movie. Red, they leapt up a chance to sell drinks that would be unmarketable otherwise. Oh. You know, your orders are weird today. They are? Yeah, usually the first thing you ask for is a Brantini. And then something like a Cobalt Velvet or something similar. Well, I sometimes feel like I need something different, you know? Something tells me part of the reason you left this Damien is because he was too deep into the routine. Oh, it's a law, boy! Don't hear that shit. Chaos all the way. Everything's gotta be different every single day. Maybe. Hey, speaking of routines, as a hacker, what's your opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing? Oh, that is indeed a thing. That's for science of somebody who just heard something stupid. Stupid enough to warrant the speech they prepared just for occasions like this. As always, very perceptive of you. You ever just plan speeches for like random topics of conversation that come up? I admittedly do sometimes. I'll do something during the day that brings a lot of attention to myself. And when I'm about to go to the bar or a party or work or whatever, and I'm like, okay, so I'm not going to bring it up, but I'm going to sit here on my chair. They're going to come to me, but if they do come to me, I'm just going to say my thing, you know, just as planned. The K-Cuck conversation, I called it. Sweating to someone who needs routine. Oh, I tell you, Hannah, admit it, you are the biggest law in the world. But because me being of chaos is going out with someone new of law, it balances it out. I'm joking. I'm going to make you a chaos goal one day. Just you wait. As always, very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago, there was this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. I can't remember what they used to call themselves. I just remember that it was just petty vandalism. Anyway, everyone that participated started using the same name. 
They want to create this anonymous anarchist's identity. The whole Alice Rabbit thing is the logical... I hope they have, like, really cool uh, cyberpunk Guy Fawkes masks. That's what happens when the idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. It's no longer a group, but an individual. It's a meme, Jack! An untouchable entity watching from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything anyone does. Observing, tolerating no one by itself. A lot of bullshit for what's essentially a pet for the press made up. Yeah, that's 100% the description for memes. Chaos, chaos. Because <laughs> you're a little bitch. So, you don't think such a person exists? Don't know? Don't care. I mean, we have seen the actions of such an entity. But it might be anything. An individual, a group, an AI. Oh god, I hate when AIs are the main bad guys in video games. That's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. So, Alice Rabbit is a thing that exists, but it's also really muddied overall. There's something else that worries me, though. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They start trying to hack stuff without knowing the risks or consequences. I could say something very political right now, but I'm not going to. Because that's a banny banny big no-no in my Twitch streams. Imagine if suddenly, a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me. It's thanks to that damn dance rabbit thing. I see you. No kids allowed, fuck off. Any kid that comes in here is getting a noose right around their neck. But enough of that. There's a more pressing matter at hand. There is. Yeah. You've been delaying my invitations for hanging out sometime for too long. I mean, this counts, right? Oh, for that. to ban me. Oh no, I can't type in my own chat. Woe is me. No, I... I mean, you could just mute the stream and pretend that I'm banned. That works, I suppose. At this rate, I might just crash by your apartment. That way, you, I can't just say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night. We could have a sleepover. Braid our hair, tell stories all night, shout. That was about 10 eyebrow raises I just did at the monitor right now. You know, you need some human warmth in that place. Okay, alright. I like the way you think, Alma. I like it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter who you are, what gender you are, whose vagina you came out of. It's... Fuck it. Every human needs warmth. We all just need to touch. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Your tits alone would fill my entire bathroom. Can I see? I just bled out through your nose. I actually do have a. Um... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, no, uh, we actually use a sprite with the blood of nose. Of the nosebleed blood. blood, blood. I'm so tired. We actually had a sprite with the nosebleed in uh, one well, of Rompo 3 LPs, I think. I can't remember which one it was. Ben asked for it specifically. And that's been the one and only time that we have ever used those sprites for anything ever. I should bug him to put them in the next LP next time. Well, Dark Souls 2 is almost done. So you never know. Might use it for the next LP. Whatever that is. Man, you react too nonchalantly. It's fucking awesome. React a little bit. Let me tease you for a second. <laughs> hey, Izzy found the emote. Hey, Nathaniel, you see, you get it. Everyone's just got a touch. Everyone should be touching at all times, if you ask me. Like, if this place ever gets very overpopulated, hey, there'll be nowhere to run, we'll always be touching. Honestly, the best outcome, if you ask me. Dada Kotowari. Is, is Jojo reference. In all seriousness, though, any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations? Are you actually a... Uh, okay. I, I, won't, I won't judge just yet, but holy shit. It sounds like you're totally into it. 
which makes you honestly a hundred times better than you already are. I mean, it's not a date. I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. That's fucking hot. It's all about nice, wholesome conversations. I'm not a morning person. Me neither. Why am I just you? I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. How the fuck? So did I. Me, I get late shifts all the time. Do you know why? Because people know I hate mornings. They know I get up at 11 o'clock in the morning every single morning. So they're like, okay, Joe, because you're awesome, we're going to cater to your needs. Here's two weeks worth of late shifts. Thanks, guys. You know me so well. It's beautiful. Oh, man. She's so relatable. That's why she's best girl still so far. I mean, uh, she's catching up. Alma's doing well. But I need to know more about these people before I have like a de facto wife. It might be until the end of the game until I finally decide who is actually going to be the one. I won't just jump to it like a buki. I will give them all a, a grain of salt. Don't worry. I won't just straight away. However, Jill is bigger than one, just saying. The earliest I've asked you out is 10 a.m., you know. That's way too early. Are you insane? That's early morning by my standards. Exactly. I mean... Not that I don't want to hang out, I just don't want to wake up early. You are hopeless. Yep. Woman up in my own heart. Anyway, gonna have a drink here. Like, say, a big brantini. Finally, that's the ammo I know. Hey, we're easy back into it. Big brantini, let's do it. Also, this track slaps. Alright, let's do it. Big drinks for big girls. Alright, still count. That's good. Uh, all aged and mixed. Digital driver is your favourite. My favourite is probably still uh, uh, the remix of Snowfall. There's a song about an acoustic guitar and the riff, like, I don't know why, it takes me back to, like, the early 2000s as well. It's almost like a, like a re relaxing, even get in song almost. I don't know, it's a song about re snowfall that really just sucks me in. It's a proper good track. Throwing up a virus. My ass cheek slapped too, for now. <laughs> they won't slap for long, boy. Description of every song in the game. Yeah, too right. AI villains have gone downhill since Shodan. Oh, from System Shock. Now that's a game I play. Ah! Oh! Oh! Mmm! Sorry. Sorry, I really like this song. Sorry. We DM'd each other. I miss chat having to correct Joan every drink. Ah, I'm a late boomer. What can I say? Give me a bit and I'll. Eventually, roll into it. That's how I recognised holes in Dark Souls too. It's got to fill them all. God, this fucking game springs out of me. I'm very sorry if I've been so dirty. You, you know what I'm about. I say dirty things, but mean no harm. Or do I? I can't wait to try to upload. That reaction is a mood. It's just... Argh, I love music. What can I say? 8 out of 10 smug assholes would recommend it, but they're too busy being smug assholes. Here you go, you smug asshole. Fucking love you. Be more smug. The more smugger, the more of a actual baby you are. Drink! Glug her down. Here. You know, Brantini is such a weird name. It's like Martini and Brandy mixed together. Nah, that's just me thinking that, though. Just ignore me. Is it really supposed to replicate the Martini? Problem is, the BTC got a hold of a brand of Vermouth that was named after a certain automobile company. Oh, it's on a weird whim they changed the name. Oh god, it's fucking localized Jojo all over again. How could they? I see. Oh! Is she lit? I think we got her lit. Oh. 
to be honest, that's basically my face whenever Jill speaks. I mean, I don't mean to sound like overly thirsty, but that is a face of thirst right there, defined. Emote, zoom in, a thousand percent. Look at it. Look. Look. Look at it. <laughs> emote time. We've already got two emotes and it's been about, what, half hour, 45 minutes? God. You guys said there'd be no emotes in this game. You lied. Got Dorothy drunk once my playthrough. That was it for optional drunkness. Maybe I should do an irresponsible run. Oh, true. You know what? It's funny you should mention that. But last stream, I said that maybe, just maybe, if I do beat this game, I might do a smashed run. Like, just, just, like, I'm going to play the game legit this run. And if we're very lucky and it's highly requested, then I will actually do a, a lit run. Like, we just get everyone absolutely bloody, like, pissed. Every single time. Every single time. I don't know if you guys want it, though. I kind of want to do it, though. Just to see the reactions of everyone and what actually happens at the end. That'd be amazing. But, again, if you, only if you guys want to do it. If you guys want to move on to another game, that's cool. But, hey, it's a choice. And I fully endorse it. Hmm. Uh, that'd be 4A, 69, 6C, 6C. I mean, there's a peculiar number in a sentence, so am I supposed to guess you said something dirty there, Alma? Oh my god, and now I should just speak. Irish, translate! You're my guy for this, you did it last time, do it this time as well. Do it. I almost finished my can. <sighs> Fucking hell. Maybe I wasn't hungover. Maybe I maybe I was just drunk for two days. I don't I don't even know anymore. Last night was uh drinks. It's her name. It's tra it translates to Jewel. Okay, that's actually pretty genius. Oh yeah, cause um those two are the same. I'm assuming they're the two L's in her name. That's pretty awesome. She's a hacker as well. That's actually amazing, holy shit. In binary, you have 15 ones. Did you celebrate your coins? Your 15th birthday pie? Age you? Don't think so. What about your sweet 16? Did you do anything special for that? Nope. And your 18th? Or 21st? Nope, none of those. Saw no point in making them any different mama birthdays. Oh, but they're different. How so? Uh, they celebrate your budding sexuality. It's the point where society tells you that you can- <laughs> This game is humorous. So up my addy. You guys have no clue. <laughs> it's so perfect. <laughs> and she makes the most bad point in the world. 18 for me. Just saying. And you're starting to look appealing enough for people to consider fucking you. It's always a hypocritical way they tell you, you can, but shouldn't fuck. Hey, that makes it all the more better. When someone says no, you say yes. All right, don't, don't take that out of context. Yeah, in the lines of comfort. I guess that's one way of seeing it. Well, there's no point in celebrating those so late. There was this one time in middle school where I got fed up with a teacher. I was in 8th grade, but the idiot kept treating me like a child. So one day I adjusted my shirt, pushed my boobs go in my arms and told him, Teacher, you do know you could get me- Oh! <laughs> okay, why are your quotes the best? Sorry Dorothy, you got a bit of a contender going on here. Deathmatch between these two, I would pay to see that shit. In fact, even better, put these two- uh, on the same fucking bar stool and just let all hell come loose. Please, please, please save her in the same room at one point in this game. Please, I really want to see that. Poor bastard can look at me for the rest of the year. I used to, mate, I'll be staring at you for the rest of your life if you did that to me. I also got suspended. 
coded and crowded. I was totally worth for you absolute rebel. Alright, you you know what? You're right. She's pretty high up there. I was a blossoming woman, and I wasn't gonna stand for it. This is why I like numbers. Numbers don't await your sexual awakening. Just tell you later that you shouldn't be sexual. I mean, uh, uh, there is such a thing as age gap, but we won't go there. Numbers never betray you. They don't cross you. They don't expect a form of family or give them grandkids. You just want to fuck a big old zero, don't you? You think a 27 cares if you have a Catholic wedding? <laughs> I can't handle this bitch. This is great. Alright. Okay. So my current big three is being violated by this girl right now. She's pushing so hard into the big three. One of those three big characters who I really like is in mortal danger because of this woman right here. No, but I care about your fucked out your ass, old love. I am most certainly not. And spell your name. God, not in hexadecimal. Uh, uh, no. I'll call you a cab. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'm going home now. My brother-in-law is close by. I tried to call him when I was done. You're dangerous, I should not leave you outside. No, please come back, you're really cool. Oh no, she's gone. She's gone, guys. <laughs> oh, so this is what happens. You put too much of this baby into people's drinks. Oh my. Uh, thoughts on your wifey prediction? Uh, week at first, suddenly shot up to 11 after she got lagged up. Not gonna lie. I uh <laughs> Oh no, I I, I I give it a nine. I'll give it a nine so far. I need to know more more just a bit more before I can properly validate. But first impressions very strong. Very, very powerful first impression. Take care of there. Hello sh, sh oh, hello sugar. Ow! Isn't that- yeah, that's- YEAH, DONOVAN'S BACK! This is the third night in a row! Hey! I might probably just say, NEVER TOUCH THE ASS OF A WOMAN WITH BOTANIC ARMS! Oh, you touched Dana's ass, didn't you? Put that it. Should have done that, otherwise that's gonna happen to you. <laughs> hey, DDD, how's it going? You alright? It's the real best girl. I think it's, <laughs> I think it's more like, classic and carbon fiber. The hot as fuck, and that's all my abdomen felt. You normally greet people that way. Yes, and it's amazing. My man, I can't contain himself when you see something he likes, kid. Oh, but don't worry. You're safe. You're flowering the field in my summer house! How dare you mock her? But also, number two, that was a good joke. I might have to nick that. Also, Jill's not flower. What the fuck are you on about? Her? She's pleasant. A bit of advice, you shouldn't provoke the one serving your drinks or food. Hey Abanashima, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you again. Don't be a friend of kid. You have your audience. I'm just not part of it. Today I'm making this a quick one. I'll attend to business in a while. Would you like the usual, Mr. Donovan? Having said that, I'll just have the usual. Yep, you sure will. Big beer it is. Alright. Big beer. I won't get you lagged up though, because if you've got business, I shouldn't mess you up. I feel guilty. Plus, I don't want to fuck Donovan, or do I? Nah, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've stitched my guns. Right. Uh. Oh, hang on, I've done too much of that. Shit, my bad. Oh, uh, reset. Oh, God. No, 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 I'm doing double! Oh, shit. Okay, no, this will not be the drink I fuck up. You've had a perfect run so far. I refuse to break that record now. No, I need to anyway. He asked for the big beer. Beer. Mm. 
Uh, oh no, should I give him a small one? Hmm. Ah, fuck it, you can take it, you're a big boy. Enjoy. There's a character in JoJo called Donovan, but his copyright name was Dongo Bang, and I think that would suit this man. Oh no, I'd hate that, honestly. And you would have to sense that name as well, because there's a certain character in Berserk who's named that, and he's a massive wrong one from what I've heard. Very usual. Sure, oh, this'll work. What brings you today, Mr. Donovan? I got an interview yesterday, it's coming again in a couple of weeks. So, I was working to clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I'm Donovan D. Dawson! I always get what I want. Sure, I had to blackmail the editors of our other outlets, but the end result is what matters. <laughs> of course you did, I love this man. The way he works is astounding. Wait, blackmail? You'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you find out when you get the right people drunk. Yeah, <laughs> look who's talking. Hmm, hey, the sink's on that glass over there. Oh, oh yeah. That big tit linen was here. She came yesterday before the concert. Yeah. Anything juicy come out of her visit? No. Gossip worthy? No. Tabloid worthy? Nope. Come on, that's be something. Well, her love for what she does is so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it should be fucking hung and shot and have their dick chopped off by a sword. Oh, don't give me my shit. Throw me a bone here. Anything. I got nothing. Everyone has a price. How much food to spill the beans? I'm serious here. She said nothing that could be used against her or that you didn't already know. Fine. Hey, kid. You think Lidim have nipples? <laughs> I mean, I won't mind finding out. Especially on certain Lidim who I've met already. I read that as you lied, Donovan, because he sexually harasses women, Hannah. <laughs> and I was about to agree with you. I'm joking. <laughs> Give me pictures of Kira and Mickey right this second, Parker. One on my desk by midnight. It's got to be retro, Donovan, as well. I hope, I hope, right? I hope Google does me a solid. Or, better yeah, I hope you guys give me a solid. I hope there's an old 60s DDD in the style of JJJ. No, let me rephrase that. I want DDD in the style of 60s JJJ. Is that a thing? Has anyone done that? If they haven't, I will personally fucking do it. I'm not joking. I'll do it. I've got time for Ben gets here tomorrow before a Catherine LP. I'll do it, man. It's super simple. He's got to take off the hair, change his skin color, but Tash can stay, and that's literally it. <laughs> Maybe change his tie red. I, I don't know, but it, it's so easily doable. If it's not on Google Image, I will I will happily do it myself. Oh. Uh. It better be on the Discord. I've already got so notifications on my Discord. What the actual fuck? Who the hell is pinging me? Excuse me? I mean, I've seen a couple of pornos when I have them, but it could be modded, you know? <laughs> I mean, you know, a lot of porn is modded nowadays, isn't it? So yesterday, while interviewing the singer, the singer, the little the, the chick, I kept wondering if those tits had nipples. Well, no, and you, I'm surprised you didn't actually cop a feel just to find out. Dirty fuck of a man, you. I mean, I'd be fine without them, but the curiosity is killing me. <laughs> I'm even more curious about the engineers that designed them. Can you picture a room full of people discussing whether or not the tits and the linen look good? <laughs> Bunch of guys and a lesbo engineer wondering if the latest model's vagina is good enough. This man's so offensive. He's amazing. <laughs> What do you think, Chris? Do you think robot ladies should um, should have the old lumps, the little nips? Oh, fucking hell. I'm so fucked up. Uh, what do you think? The big pepperonis, as Irish puts it. Oh, my God. 
bunch of people. Yo, that was a fine. That was a fine period of the internet, true. That yeah, the the shirtless Mario when you just saw the little, the little ham stains on his on his on his chest. Good times. Man, God bless those sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Any interest in preview of tomorrow's news? You expect me to share my information when you wouldn't share the scoop on the singer? He's got a point. I got one share when there's honestly nothing to share. Oh! Sorry. I really like this song. Uh huh. I'm gonna be a good citizen today and let this one pass. You heard of a group called the Harbingers? Oh, you were joking about being a, a good. No, you were being serious about being a good citizen? Could have fooled me. Not really, no. There's some group wanting to overthrow the White Knights. Oh yeah. I read their manifesto in the bathroom once. <laughs> just, I just imagined him with his trousers down, just looking at a giant article. Interest in peace and even better makeshift toilet paper. God fucking damn it. Okay, he's still a big free. They talk about how the organization is corrupt, full of mob bosses or something like that. I think I've heard about that somewhere. What of them? They sent a message to some outlet saying they had proof of their claims. But they're gonna release it to the public tomorrow. Oh, that'd be interesting to see. I think. I know, right? Alright, kid. Give me a bleeding Jane so I can call it a day. You mean for drink, right? Okay. Bleeding Jane. That's a change of pace. We have. N uh, oh, bloody hell. I wonder what the description of this one's gonna be. Oh, it's for playing Bloody Mary, which is an actual drink as well. A bleeding Jane is one, three, and three, all blended. Say on the this drink three times in front of the mirror, and you'll just look like an idiot. Nice. All right. Uh, I'll give you a big one. Oh my god. Oh, oh hmm, I kind of want to get him lagged up. But he's got his bloody work. He's got he's got work to do after this as well. I don't want to ruin it for him. I like this guy. I will not want to ruin anything for this man. Ha! <laughs> I can photoshop that as well, Irish, don't worry. I'll do it for you. Black man was very immoral, need to murder. Can't prove that. <laughs> Alright, that's a point. Ruin it! All of you two soon don't even work sober. You know what? You're right, Hello Spaz. Let's get our man lit and good to go. All blended. Uh, I think we're ready to go, aren't we? Also, it's for Slapper again. Or the racket. Depends how you feel about it, really. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Alright, cool. Woo, 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 Sorry. Uh, okay, it's a decent song, but it uh, I don't feel, it doesn't really fit the atmosphere of this game. Sorry, sorry. It it don't don't get me wrong. Like it's an alright song, but it's just blah 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 blah. I'm having a relaxing conversation with this offensive guy, and it's a bit distracting. Just a bit. I'm not gonna lie. Sorry. It's okay, but I don't feel like it fits this scene at all. I mean, you go to this one right here, and it's like, oh, it's like limp to hard straight away. Sorry, guys, that's that's just me, though. Oh man, everyone's so angry in the chat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, man, it's just like Alma said. There's a whole bunch of people from all different fucking like people and shit. This is why I say we should always touch each other.
I, I don't have I don't really have a lot to talk about when I say dumb shit like that, but you know what I'm about by now. So I hope this is Dana Zane's bar. Is it true? Moving on. Oh, that's because Irish is part of my mind. I'm a part of his mind as well. We're basically each other's personas and stands. That'd be fucking awesome. Irish, how cool would it be if you were my stand? Or vice versa? Mate, we'd be unstoppable. What would our stand power even be? Well, whoever we touch in a sexual manner, they immediately get lagged up and pissed. Actually, no, that sounds a little bit uh, iffy. Uh, we have to change our Irish. We're working it, we're working it. Yeah. Now I thought I'd hear about the undefeated of the West again. Oh, we're getting another Dana story? More Dana law? More so after that instant with the bears. What? She fights bears? She's out riding some uh, bears? Six years ago, a cash-strapped Dana Zane entered an underground ring for money. Faced ten raised grizzly bears. She beat them all without kidding them. Boy, is she fucking Kiryu? Actually, no, Kiryu has a four bears. That means she's stronger than Kiryu. What the fuck? That was a poor choice of words. I do apologize. Emerald splashed by alcohol. 100% Irish. You got it. That's a good one. And one that can't be deflected this time. Not that the original ever could, but, you know. Heard she set them free afterwards, too. And you were there? I was drunk and bored. What can I say? Do you know if she lost her arm there? Can't remember. Too drunk. <laughs> Maybe she had her prospect then, too. I heard someone uh, suggest that she lost it after throwing a baseball out of some stadium. What? For it so hard, her arm fell off. I'm actually imagining that right now. Like, she just swings her arm, it separates, and the arm just flies off while still gripping the ball. That's awesome. Well, that sounds more like an unsubstantiated rumor. Yeah, like, like every other story that's been told. Get DR to make art of me as your stand. That can be arranged, my friend. Well, I gotta go. Next time you see Dana, thank her for winning me my second yacht. What? I knew bit on her was the right choice. Please come again and tell me more stories of my boss. Yeah, yeah. Break time! Jill's flat. Fucking Jesus, Donovan. That's probably the most offensive thing he's ever said out of everything. Let's save. It is now safe to keep playing. Don't worry, it's okay. You can come out now. No one's gonna hurt you. It is now safe to play the game where you have to click on shit. Do not worry, it's okay. Don't worry. Now these waifus are real. <laughs> She's not that flat. And if she is flat, it's flat justice. <laughs> oh shit, here we go again. Alright, let's do it. Voting time. Go, go, go. Do your thing. Say the names. Just don't do base of Titans, otherwise you're banned. You hear that, Irish? You're free to go. Go ham if someone says that. Showtime? Alright, cool. Showtime. Showtime, 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 show. There it is. Showtime. Uh, every day is night, yeah. Here you go. Digital drive. Every day is night, we got it. Uh, Incoming waifu. I wish that was a name. A dot written. Uh, pick the fifth one on the third page. There's no one there. Sorry, we got to be another one. Commencing simulation. Re snowfall. Hey. 
You're just saying because I like that song, aren't you, Hannah? I like the city. Uh, dusk. The answer lies within. Three more left. Got the commencing simulation. Welcome to Valhalla. I believe that's the title song, isn't it? Nice. That's a good one, actually. Kind of the lawful answer. Metropolis. Metropolis. No, no, no. One more left. What we got? And follow the trail. Cool. And we are done. Man. How much faster is this stream going now if I'm letting you guys choose? So I like the songs, but I haven't heard of enough to actually memorize the names either. So I'll just be hovering over them going, oh, that sounds like a good song, and just blindly clicking on them. So I'm glad we've thought up with this idea. Whatever trail. Bang! We good. Ooh. I do like the intro to this one, though. Dusk is your face so far. Hannah, shut the head up. You're lovely. No, stop. You be quiet. You're the nicest person in the world. RSU you tell her. Honestly. God, how dare you belittle yourself. You absolutely fucking beautiful woman. You absolute... Trashy, lovely, uh, absolutely uh, glorious girl. God fucking damn it. Christ, fuck. Can't believe you've done this. Oh, boss, you're back. Yeah, sorry about not being here earlier. What were you doing? I had a brief meme with my BTC regional man. Oh, those fuckers. Boo! No, you stay out. Bloody higher ups of the higher ups are the worst. They ruin everything. Oh, everything all right? As all right as it can be, considering that we're closing eventually. What? Like, for real? When would that happen? I don't know. Brianna said that we'll be safe for a few months while the- Oh, fuck me! No, this place is shutting down? That's fucking shit. I like this place. Look, it advertises $60 for noodles. How can you shut this place down? Don't close this place, I like this place. Oh. I was also talking to him about you. About me? Yeah. I was telling him to do whatever it takes to ensure you don't spend too much time about a job. Oh, you're too kind, Dana. If possible, to reassign you ASAP after closing. Hey, if it helps, Brienne might be the angriest of us all. <laughs> They want to close the only bar in the whole area that hasn't given me any head headaches, he said. <laughs> what about Gil? He's the one that worries me the most, actually. He's kind of working using the credentials of another guy that was working here before. Oh yeah? How so? Who? The one who bought a levitation potion and then threw himself off a build- What the fuck?! Ah oh, yes, a levitation potion story. You use weird euphemisms, boss. The guy who jumped off the fucking what the fucking fuck? Uh. Oh, whoops. I'm thinking Brian is a fucking girl, so I said Brianne. My bad. That's why I pronounced it like that. Also, too much Game of Thrones to that me. But also, what the hell, bra? Use word euphemisms, boss. Random question, but is your cat an asshole? No, fuck off. My angel, whose actual name is Angel, is an angel. No way. Mon always wants to play and attacks my ankles and then the chance comes. Uh, my cat's like my cat's 18 years of age now. She's got to the point now where she doesn't give a fuck about anything besides food and hugs. Like she won't even like, you know, scratch you for it. All she will do if she wants something is that she'll just sit down and cry her eyes out. Like, actually cry. And when you're upstairs as well, she's actually not allowed upstairs because, you know, fleas and shit. Not that she's got fleas, but there's always a danger. But she'll literally howl like a dog when you're upstairs. 
I, I'll try my best to make the noise. It's going to sound weird. But um, I'll be upstairs uh, sleeping at like 10 o'clock in the morning. And I'll just hear, Row! Row! I'm not even joking. It sounds exactly like that. It's like a, a wolf's howl almost. And when you walk downstairs, she'll run around. You open the fridge. She's got a really bad habit now of, eat, of eating human food. It's a really bad habit. Like, there was this one time... Well, you know, you know, animals get into habits when you treat them too much. Well, I used to treat her to ham about once a week. But now she expects it every day. And she, oh, she's so fucking cute. It's like, I can't not give her ham when she fucking cries for it. I'll be there making my porridge uh, sometimes at 6 o'clock in the morning for my morning shift. And she'll just be there crying away. And it's like, alright, I'll give you your ham if you, as long as you just... Please shut up, you beautiful girl. You Please stop. But yeah, she used to scratch, but honestly, she would not hurt a fly. She would only scratch if you provoke her. She won't like, actually like, scratch and bite you for things. She would just sit there and look at you with her dumb looking eyes. Bless her. Oh shit, what the fuck? Go away, Windows. This is a service, but... No, fuck off! Ah! My computer's asked me for an update. Uh, remind, remind me tomorrow, piss off. <laughs> okay, 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 sorry. Go crisis avoid. It's okay. Don't worry. It's fine. When they're that old, they can eat all the human food they want. You know what? You're right. But she just probably just stop begging, Vessa. When I get to meet your cat, I will... you've seen my cat Hannah. I've actually showed. I've actually showed Hannah my. Uh... Oh shit! We got a subscription. Uh. Dal, no, sorry, not subscription, that's YouTube. Dal, Ho, Dal Houston, thank you for following the channel, man. Um, yeah, I, sh I showed you the cat, you the video call. You can look, but you can't touch. Parents are going to eat anything but human food now because they're using the sneakers, pain meds, and actual Twinkies. Wow, that's one way of doing it. Going to Blackjack. Blackjack's a bad game. Windows update almost got us. Almost. But I told it to piss off. Don't worry, guys. Attack Windows. Ha! <laughs> Won't be a Joe stream. You give me far not enough credit, Scare. That hasn't happened since last year. I'm gonna. If I'm free for Smash tonight, there's a meteor smash your name on it, boy. Anyway. I find it hard to believe that Gil will find a job after all this. Oh, this looks bad for old Gil. He's going to be like Gil from The Simpsons, where he's just got every single job by a shit at it, bless him. Just who is Gil? I have an idea of who he is, but I'm still putting pieces together. So not only is he a complete doormat, he's shrouded in mystery too. Anyway, back to work. Hang on a minute. He hit off with, um, uh, with Adam Jensen, didn't he? And apparently there was talk of him being part of the protests in Hong Kong? Did I get that right? He's up there's obviously something he's got he's got something. He's got some history. It's gotta be something to do with the um with the riots, I think. I believe that was mentioned. The dwarf story. No. The cat I'm helping to take care of went on her side or wrap her front legs. Oh, that's cute. Holy shit. God, I love cats that do that. Uh, Del Houston, this is Valhalla, the cyberpunk bartender. I, I think I said the tagline, right? Someone said the tagline. The comments like part for the cover. Oh, no, man. Chat's going fast. I can't click on the chat because it'd be a stream will freeze. I have, to, I have to be quick now. Control instant. Oh, come on. Don't be such a drama queen. That's not a technical issue. Give us a total package. Can we get a compilation of Joe saying? That's going to be like an hour long compilation, Irish. You don't want to ask for that. He's a quiet kid and who 100% has a knife in his pocket. I just mentioned my sentient crabs. Hang on, man. What's Blackjack got to do with crabs? Hey, a den for him? Thanks for the follow, man. Well, if you fail at 21, you get crabs in your badge. What? That's why she's not allowed upstairs. 
Cyberpunk Barton in action. That's the one. The crabs are all well behaved though, I promise. Alright, cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, but as soon as I think of crabs, I think of that advert. You guys know the one. They stab you ones. Anyway, back to work. Imminent closure is no excuse to slack off. Yes, sir. Oh, that sucks. They're gonna get laid off. Look at, oh, look at Gideon's ellipsis. Hope you find something. You guys do know I can hear you, right? This place looks familiar. Whoa! You've got a lot going on. You've got a lot going on. Um. <clears throat> Hello. Excuse me. Uh, is this the Valhalla bar? This is indeed welcome. And how may I help you, Missy? Is indeed welcome to Valhalla. Oh God, what is Say playing now? Oh, you know Say. Excuse me. I want a drink whose name was changed after many women protested. Can you give me that? What? Hang on a minute. Oh boy. Okay, you're gonna be a complicated one. I want a drink whose name was changed after many women protested. That's okay, but Chase is better than the catch sometimes. Uh, sure. She's got like Celestrals as well. Okay, her design's good. What was that drink whose name was changed after people caused a stink? Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh man, we're gonna have to go deep into the lore of the booze now. Okay, let's see what we got. That's a real idea. Three times a mirror before. I'm gonna say brown. One of these is a mirror. Uh, uh, oh shit. Oh no, I'm pretty sure it was mentioned before, but I can't remember what it was. It was like a champagne served on a cup, but a left. Wasn't the piano woman, was it? Because people are like, no, I want. If there's a piano man, there's got to be a piano woman as well. It sounds like that one. I think it's this one. Alright. We're gonna go piano woman, see if that works. Oh, didn't you press that? Oh, I got it. That was it. Woo! Oh, surprised myself sometimes. I didn't think I remember that one. Alright, so they're now giving us giving us requests based on memory as well, like in descriptions too. Oh boy. I'm bound to get something wrong at some point. Oh no, I've run out! This can't be! That's okay! That's okay! Do you wanna know why? I you know why it's okay? I'll tell you why it's okay. Cause I got seconds, boy! Can't be hungover if you're drunk again! Ah! Enjoy! Double checking. Give me good. NANI?! Oh, I forgot to age it, my bad. Fine, I need a handicap. I went in too deep and too hard and too fast. My fault, guys. Sorry. Age. Oh, that's gonna be a mistake penalty, isn't it? Fuck. That's okay. Don't worry. I wasn't. I wasn't going for the optimal perfect run anyway. All right. There you go. Apologies for the delay, ma'am. Here you go. Your piano woman. Very nice. Thanks a lot. Oh my god, her ears twitch as well. <sighs> oh my. You're gonna feel a lot of fetishes, girl. So, you know, say, Miss... Stella! Stella! Can't you hear me, Ella? You're putting me in hell. Stella! 
Yeah, I know her. She's been here before, yes? Yup. In fact, I'm glad you know her because she left this here last time. Oh, the helmet! Oh, God. She left the helmet behind again? Not the first time, huh? Your ears are actually moving. That is not for decor. Okay, explain yourself. Are there Beast King in this game? Hey, helmets have been picked up by all sorts of people in the last three months. Oh, boy. It's a thing, is it? Valets, nurses, morticians, fire jugglers. Streetcar. Yeah, Shrew's got it. Well done. Well done. Joe Simpsons ref silver approver there, True. Well done. You got it. Well done. You're all the stars. <laughs> She's been lucky enough to always leave it with people who return it, at least. Whoa, quite a few people. Says as much for a social girl as she's a total klutz. Save a second name. Not allowed to drink, but I'm already drinking. Hmm. A semi furry. Jerry can work on that. A lot of people can work on that, especially in our Discord. That's classic Simpsons. No, the first five Simpsons seasons. Those are the only five you need to know, true. Good on you. You know it. Yavish crow. It is when she's not being serious. She's very competent when she puts her mind to it. I see. So, did she recommend you this place, or...? We're meeting here today. I can see why she chose this place. It's the kind of place she likes. You know what? She's got the whole Dom appearance going on. So, to be honest, I'm willing to work with whatever this girl's got. Because, remember, it's not about me wanting to freely be into something. It's about how I get forced to be into something. And I feel like she's a girl to do it, if you catch my drift. So, is that Kira Mickey's autograph on that glass? Seems like that glass is a conversation star. Nice! Yeah, it is. How did you get it? She stopped with her yesterday, just before the concert. Oh, she stopped here yesterday. My bad. Really? I mean... She did? Yeah, let's go. C can I see it? Sure. Yup, the Stark signature is hers. So your name is Julvin? Yes. Ain't this nice? Here you go. Do you like her, Miss Stella? Just call me Stella. I do. Her ears perk up when she's happy. Whenever you hear her songs, you're filled with so much energy and happiness. Too bad I couldn't purchase tickets for this one. I mean, they were sold out in minutes. Lucky I could secure a couple for the next time she comes around. Oh, excuse me for a second. Hello? Where the hell are you? Car crash? Oh, you're helping. She's on the phone. Will it take long? Alright. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I take it that would say. Yes. Will you wait for her? I will. In the meantime, I feel like having another drink. One I was prepared in memory of its creator's dearest friend. Oh, you're going to be so complicated. But that's okay, I like working for it. When I was prepared in memory of its creator's dearest friend, Nani? Alright. A drinking on of a good friend. God, she's, she does it by description, does she? Okay, alright. Uh, honor of a good friend. Was this mentioned before? Oh god, I can't remember. This one isn't in the descriptions? Oh, fuck me. Oh, no. Hard mode activated. All right, let's do it. By the power of drinks. Let's do it. Honor of a good friend. All right. Maybe if I see the name, I'll remember it. Honor of a good friend. Oh, who mentioned it? Who is it who mentioned it? It wasn't Ingram, was it? It definitely wasn't Donovan. So it's probably none of his drinks. Uh, maybe it was Kira? Hmm. 
I think Kira had a blue fairy before, but I don't think it was her. Oh shit. No, no one tell me. No one tell me. This is gonna be my honest to my honest to god blind playthrough. You guys are here to bear witness to the success slash failure of what's about to incur. Drinking it on of a good friend. What? I don't know that! I'm trying to think of the actual drinks I've served before. Oh no. I can't remember who we talked to about this, this law. So not only have I got to pay attention to uh, how big it's got to be, what their regular drinks are, and what's in the description, but I've also got to pay attention to the fucking law of the drinks. Oh man. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh god. Oh jeez. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Ask you for hints specifically because you want to say something. It's definitely not frothy water. We can eliminate that from the 24 drinks we've got in this selection. It wasn't gut punch, was it? Hang on, did Jamie mention it? Because Jamie had, I believe he had a gut punch and a Mars Blast? Oh god, I can't remember. Fuck! Oh no! Chug down your drink, you're right. No, I'll just, I'll just sip. And by sip, I mean glug. Oh, Mercury Blast. It might not even be a drink we've actually served either. Brain blast, brain spasm right now. Oh man, I'm legit gonna have to make notes on the law of the drinks as well. Oh no. God blast. These ain't clues by any chance, are they? Because we have got Mars Blast and Moon Blast. I'm my biggest my biggest bet right now is Mars Blast. I think Jamie might have mentioned it. I could be completely wrong. Oh no, fuck. Yeah, Arch is good at hints without actually reviewing it, so I'll leave it to him if I do ask for the hint. Time is of the essence after all. Remember that ancient one? I have no fucking clue. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Irish, give me a hint. I'll, I'll do a lifeline. Doesn't help that I do these like every well, once every week, man. I'm gonna have to stop taking fucking notes. Stop buffering, you fucking piece of shit. Was that your clue by any chance? I mean, spikes are in smash, and smash lags over time. Jorno. Jorno. Oh!
from the piano theme, but I thought I'd do it anyway. <laughs> See, I told you, this man knows what's up when it comes to the hints. I mean, uh, to be fair, I got it straight away, but then again, this might not even be it. But I'm betting that's freaking piano, man. You guys are ready for a golden experience. Is this the one you had in mind? If this is correct. If this is correct. Yeah, it better be fucking correct. Please be correct. Is it correct? This is going to be real limp if it doesn't work. But hold on, hold on. Piano cover, I can't find the actual one. I'm not gonna look for it because I'm scared of spoilers because I'm not done part five yet. But we got it! Yes! <laughs> okay, let's go back to normal. Oh dear. Thanks, Irish. You MVP. Love you. Always believe in the piano. I can do, I can do dumb shit like that. Now that we've got OBS Ryan, this is awesome. Thank fuck for PC. Holy shit. One absolute slap of a theme. Oh my god. As soon as you hear that music, it's victory music. If you if you are a villain, that's boss music. You're done. Just don't bother. Just stand there and take the mudas. No. Don't ever run away. Just take it. Just take it. You're not gonna escape. What the fuck would you? Alright, anyway, enough about the JoJo memes. Thank you. You got it right. May I ask you something that might be personal? It's about my eye, is it? What's with the eye? No, it's not. Or at least I don't think so. I don't get to serve many cat boomers, so it's something I'm- CAT BOOMERS?! This game is special. This game is very special. Cat boom- oh. <laughs> What?! <laughs> okay, boomer. <laughs> Did you go through the procedure because of a disease or because of the fad? Before I was born, I was diagnosed with nano machine rejection. So I had to be done, otherwise I would have died shortly after. Well, holy shit! So without the cat ear, she would have legit died. Holy shit! Cat people save lives. Let it be known. Holy shit! I'm a bit on the weak side because of it, though. That's a bit of a- that is quite a name though, Cat Boomer. Holy shit. I mean, hey, if she can't help it, that makes her more special. Also, I'm very curious to know if she's got a human pair of ears, as well as cat ears. But her hair is so glorious that I can't even see them, so that will throw me in a mystery. Until, you know, you catch it. I don't mind. It's always nice to dispel the idea that my parents were just into the fad. You seem to know your drinks, Jewel. Well, I had a little bit of help. Yeah, I guess I've read a bit more. I, I guess I've watched more JoJo than the recipe book. Do you like alcohol? Yeah, but not in the usual way. 
I don't drink that much outside the can, dude. Hey! Oh, you got me! Fuck! But their colors, their stories, the way you need to keep them stored, their designs. Sounds a bit city when I say it out loud. And she does. No spinny Zara is. Oh man, so if you nibble the hair, then that's gonna be a. Uh, okay. okay. Mm. This game is way ahead of its time. Yeah, man, this game is predicting shit. It's pretty scary and awesome at the same time. Whatever, you cat fucker. Whatever, human zoomer. Sounds a bit silly when I say it out loud. Not at all. Do you collect them or anything like that? Actually, yeah. I started with my grandpa's collection. I've been slowly growing it. It's been hard because of my debts, but I manage, little by little. Do you like alcohol stuff? Oh, Jewel collects cans of beer? That's a... That's kind of a cute little habit. I like it. Um... Do I collect anything? Not really. I almost got onto the Funko collections, but I was like, Nah, there's just too mainstream, man. I don't want to go over anymore. Plus, some of them look dumb. Ha! I mean, they're okay. I know a lot of people who love to go for the Funkos. Honestly, I think I had about five. I had a... I had a Leon one, a Big Daddy one, and I also had a Lemmy one, I think. But after a while, I was like, yeah, this, uh, they're a bit ugly. And also, they cost a fuck ton as well. They sell at Comic Con for like 50 quid. That's ridiculous. For a little figurine, they ain't paying that shit. What the fuck? No way. Like, I'll, ha I'll happily admit that I did start. But when I was like, you know what? This is kind of wasting my money. These are expensive and they're okay. And plus, they're everywhere now. So. Yeah, I know, it's funny. I'm... I don't know if it's, like... When people... When things get popular, and people always, like, make a big giant thing of a certain thing, for some reason, I'm always just deterred from it. I don't know why it is. Maybe I'm just a big old fucking, uh, like, brat baby hipster who doesn't... who wants to be cool, but... I, I don't know, it's just... I just... I don't know, there's just something about it when people are like... I can't explain it. It's, I guess I'm. I guess I don't really like. I don't know. I can't explain it. The Funko Pops are just never really my thing. Don't get me wrong. I can see why things like that are popular. But at the same time, I probably wouldn't want to like be part of like that crowd. Oh, the Deadpool, Bob Ross. Yeah, I've seen them everywhere. And then they've got, like, the exclusive ones, like the gold ones, and they're, like, a hundred, and it's like, oh, I'm not paying money for a gold one. Now, they've now got, like, collector's ones in as well. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, they, they just, like, get pooped out, and it's like, hey, it's 20 bucks for this fucking, like, weird-looking weird figurine. Never really got behind it, really, to be honest. I only got the Big Daddy one because it looked less like a Funko than the rest. Have you seen that one? It just doesn't look like a Funko. It looks like a normal figurine. You got it as a gift. That's fair enough, true. I'm here, right? But I'm normally more of a social drinker. Unless it's with somebody I don't tend to drink much. I see. That's fair enough. You're not sad who drinks alone like me. So, Emily! Welcome. Hey! Now this, this is a pair. You took your sweet time. Hey, say? Hey, say? <laughs> it's hey, say. Say, hey. Say is in the... Say. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Now, will we ever... Will we ever solve the riddle of... If, is that a bandana or is that a shadow? We may never know. I got caught in a rush hour traffic too. I figured a walk might be faster. Luckily there was a building with emergency stairs nearby and I climbed down. Climbed down? I took an air cab. I imagine her just cannonballing down a set of stairs. And I'm giggling at the fall of it. Oh. I would suggest using ground transportation, but I'm happy to see you put your safety first. Safety? No, no. Flying cars are just way cooler. I still don't understand how they don't give you motion sickness. If I found out how I avoid it, you'll be the first to know. Anyway, I have whatever she orders next. 
I like a drink that was. Oh my god, you and your trivia, Stella. You're right again. You and your cryptic orders always leaving us with weird stuff. Hey, I expect only the best from whoever serves me. Fair enough. I need to be able to answer these kinds of orders. Oh, she demands nothing but perfection. I like her. Still, I'm sure you're worrying poor Jill here out with that kind of stuff. Hey, I'm all about that effort. Makes me feel good once I, you know, get it right. She's done quite well so far, actually. Really? Thank you. Whatever. Please order something normal, would you? That'll be two fringe weavers then. We'll have two drinks at once. It's for you! No, we're sharing. What? Like half a glass for each? Is it better? I want to pinch your cheeks so fucking hard, say so you have no idea. Don't worry, you'll see. Two fringe weavers. Easy enough. Bless. Absolute blessed. Fucking Theodore moats all around. Alright. A fringe weaver is one. Who, which one should we get smashed? I want to get Cat Lady smashed. And it's possible because I can double that shit. That's going to get her really fucked off though. All Asian mix. It's like drinking ethnic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Who oh boy? You're gonna get cat boom and lit tonight, people. All right, here we go. And a small one for say. Actually, no. Should we get them both fucked up? Let's do it. Fuck it. YOLO. I said YOLO. I'm ashamed. But some things need to be said at the right time, you know? And I believe that time is now. Let's see. 2, 18, aged. Oh, yeah. Enjoy, ladies. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> oh, no. Evolve or die, girls. Let's do it. Two fringe weavers. So, this one's for you, and this one's for me. You said you wanted whatever I asked for, right? Oh, that way. You could have said so. She's basically the Ben. Like, I feel like I'm the Jill. Say he's Ben. Like, Ben forgets a lot of shit, but it's kind of adorable at the same time as well, bless him. I see it. If she pronounces something wrong, then we got it. Dead ringer. Hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Fuck say he is Ben. He's dumb and cute. Bless him. One shot plays comes in all flavors. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Hey, so this is where I left my helmet. Thanks. You really need to be more careful of your things. I mean, you could happily take a screenshot of this and say, uh, that's Ben and that's me. Those spares should be saved for when the one you're using breaks or malfunctions, not when you lose it. Those helmets cost money, you know, and Ben's always spending money on stupid shit as well, and I'm like, what are you doing, you scrub? You save your money for, like, stuff like booze, you bucker. Yeah, sorry, you know, they're all important shit. Hey, GB0, GB0, sorry. Welcome to the chat, man. How's it going? So, Joe is the furry one. You got me. Should I say our boss got her head stuck because of a jammed button? Speaking of money, you still gonna get that meeting at the bank tomorrow? Yup. Worried? I'm afraid for now. Be lying if I said I wasn't. Don't be, it'll be fine. Rumours are just rumours. Rumours? They say something might happen at the bank tomorrow. But with all the tension, yeah, lately, it's hard to know if it's true. Does liking cat girls mean you're furry? 
As if the fear mongering wasn't enough, the people have also started spreading baseless rumors. Like guys, I'll admit, I'll, I'll confess right here. If you're fucking human girls with like cat ears, or even a fucking tail, I don't care. That's cool. Whatever. It's fine. It's a kink. I ain't gonna knock it. If you guys like animal parts and a human, like, don't worry about it. It's fine. As long as you're not fucking legit animals, then it's cool. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I've had a few. The tongue has loosened. I'll happily confess. That is fine. To have a hard on will be work for girls with cat ears. Especially if they're dressed like that. Like, that's as optimal design for me, honestly. It's not furry, that's bestiality. Now that shit's wrong. Anyone ever wants to stick a dick in my cat, I'll actually cut their balls off and wear them as a necklace. <sighs> Everyone's on edge. Yeah. I know you're worried, but I have to go there. It's orders from the higher ups. Tell me something. If somebody came after me, do you think they stand a chance? Not of your stand, though, land of confusion. You're quite strong, but... I'll take someone to protect myself. Be prepared for anything. Would that make you feel safer? Maybe. I'll tell you what. I'll try to come back or get some ice cream. That way you can vent all your frustrations. Alright. Seems my vehicle is here to pick me up. You come in, say? Nah, I'll stay here for a bit longer. Okay, then. Take care. Hope you drank your massive bloody beverage fast. Well, just us and say. She's such a worry wart. That means she cares about you. It does! If everyone's worrying, it means they care. Unless you're Ben, then you just worry for no goddamn reason. Fucking... Never doubted. Okay, maybe she's not like Ben. I'll take it back. <laughs> I'm joking. Say, why does my helmet smell like bacon? Because fucking Dana was wearing it, and she is manly buff awesome woman incarnate. And bacon's a perfect meat as well, so, you know, that suits the boss. Not that I mind, I'm just curious. I was hoping she'd say Kentucky Fried Chicken, just so I can make more comparisons with Dana and Colonel Sanders. Well, you know how some things absorb the smell of what's nearby? It must have grabbed it from one of the ingredients. I see. Do you believe all that stuff about tensions growing in that anarchist group trying to disband the White Knights? To tell you the truth, I'm a bit worried. Even in my division, there's some shady business going on. But I don't want to investigate too deeply. What kind of business? From what I understand, things like working with human traffickers or drug dealers, let them act as they wish. Some even say the ones that do get apprehended are the ones that have failed them in some way. Stella always says, the White Knights are just glorified mall security. So you're basically futuristic, um, what do they call them in Game of Thrones? Um, Knights of the Watch, that's it. She says that if it's been proven beyond a doubt that some shade business is going on. That is, I'm hoping it's not completely like Knights of the Watch, you know, abstaining and all that. Zaibatsu Corp, Zane Bryan. Zaibatsu Corp, SBFP. We separate themselves on the whole White Knight Division. I can't see Matt or Pat or Woody being Knight Division. Just saying. Something about the associates' fear of bad PR resulting in them moving to the BTC. Sounds plausible. You want to throw up? Irish, dude, go easy on the booze, mate. Hmm. Drink in moderation. Remember, have a little bit one night, and then just have a shit ton the other night. That way you'll never get hungover. Although you may throw up, as it says in the comments. Just open the window and you aim for your bed. Mind I don't hit your face on the way back in, Irish. Hope you're alright, man. Go easy on it. Have some water. Have some clear liquid. Now, I don't mean vodka. Go easy on yourself, my man. You like my beloved mod? mod. And if my stand gets pissed up, I'll get pissed up. So don't you dare. Yeah, it kind of worries me, though. Because I really like my job. 
I guess a similar fear exists among the upper ranks. Lately they seem... restless. It's the day before breakup. Ooh, days in West for you had a spaz. Congrats! I bet you can't wait. How long uh, have you got for the breakup? Too much politics, huh? Hurts my brain. I just want to rescue people and help them. Okay, I take it back. This is 100% not Ben. No way. Guy loves talking about politics. Holy shit. Don't tell him, though. Oh, shit, he watches the VODs. Damn it. Ben, you've been called out. You know who you are. I just want to do my job without worries about politics of any kind. What are you doing at the bank tomorrow? My colonel needed to relay some information to the manager. And I was picked because he trusted me. Well, he said, you're such a simpleton that you never give the wrong message. But it's his intention that counts. <laughs> That's a nice backhand and compliment there, bro. What? Oh! The heart of the city has returned. <laughs> hey! She returns. Oh boy. I'm looking forward to see what you guys talk about. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, that 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 suits you. You watch, you protect, but she serves. If you catch my drift. Hey, yeah, Dorothy, how's it going? You alright? Please refrain from doing those sitcom-like entrances. You're disturbing your clients. Oh come on! You know the audience would have gone wild with that one. And besides, you make it sound like you're a full house. I'd like to let everyone on the chat know that I got the whole set of the trading cards on Steam for Valhalla. And what background did it give me? The one with this angel in it. Instant apply. In fact, I'll do a screenshot and show it to you guys in Discord after. And besides, make it sound like you're a full house. <clears throat> It's uncommon to see you here two days in a row. I want you to grab something before starting my shift. Grab something before they start grabbing me, if you could say. <laughs> you're a treasure. Hey, you having a drink? Can I buy you one? Oh, and you're just precious. Why, yes. Thank you. Honey, you should follow her example and offering more drinks more often. We'll see. What are you having? I have what she's having, god damn it. I mean, I've got the perfect thing. Let's have a blue fairy. One for both. One for each. Alright. Two blue fairies. I'm getting you lit. This is a night we absolutely get Dorothy smashed under the table. Let's go. Determination. Let's do this shit. Blue fairy. So, first up, say. Yeah. Well, how's it work again? All right, so um, so can I make it big? And also put in Karma Trine. It, 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 is it better if I do the big one with as much Karma Trine as possible, or is it better if I do the small so I can put in more Karma Trine? How does it work? Is the bigger ones or is there more we've put in here? I'm following the trail. You don't know? More karma trying, more karma trying. Max karma trying. Yep, yeah, alright. Small, but incredibly alcoholic. <laughs> oh no! A super pissed up playthrough would be next time. But I've had a bit as well. So, it sort of applies today. Also, in game is the same game as today. So, if I'm lagged up and they're not, then uh, it ain't a true stream, is it?
You put Ben and Joe's faces and the girl's face in the Discord. You did? Oh my god. Okay, sure. I'm checking out as soon as we finish. Absolute godsend you are. Thank you for doing that. Alright, and now for the big one. I was hesitating with Say, but with you, my sweet princess. There'll be none of that. Enjoy, ladies. Two big ass fat bombed fairies. Hey, this is pretty good. You're damn straight. See? And it's blue like your hair. It is. So, what's your name, sweetie? Call me Say. Hi, right, Say. I'm Dorothy. Say, Say. Yes, yes. Say, say! I saw that kind of mile away. As soon as she said that, I was like, that's a play. It's 100% a play. Ulterior motive call out immediately. Expected nothing more, nothing less from you, young lady. Yes, yes! Say, say. Say, say! Say, why are you just buying me a drink? I just thought you were cute as a button, so I wanted to ship, shipped, shipped, fucking pink, green, blue, whatever the fuck color that is, facing each other, similar expressions. We watch, we protect, we love. Wow, you have to be the first person to offer me a drink while well, having an ulterior motive. And that includes fuck. <laughs> Get fucked. What do you mean? Trust me. You work in my kind of field. You learn to recuse from everything. And this goal is simple to a fool. How so? You're the what you see is what you get type. Yeah, that's Ben. My look on your face is one of that simply sees no point in lying. You have 10 minutes to leave? Oh shit, true. That's alright, I'll be in enough soon anyway. Like I said before, we'll do it as the day ends. And I think this one's ending soon. Turquoise. One is protect and one is serve. <laughs> hey, I like it. Very nice, Mac and I. Couple with the fact that you're here in what looks like your work attire tells me you're ready to work. You're so married to your job that sex is too far down your priority list to know it's ex existence. You can change that. We can all change that. So if you invite me to a drink because you found me cute and that's the extent of it, I believe you. Ah, oh, she sees through it. She's like, nah, the fact that you're dressed for work means that you're not dressed to work. Thank you. <laughs> You say she's the first one, but what about Deal giving you a ticket the other day? Who? Oh yeah, the Lillian with the dogs. No, he doesn't count. He looks like a humanoid man. So Gil, pretty much. Ouch. You seem very perceptive, Dorothy. But I'm not too far behind. How so? I could tell your body is heavily modded with things that she shouldn't even have. Man, she is custom in every essence of the word. <laughs> Your tongue is Bebo sick. Of course. Of course. Of course. They're not even holding back. DNA scanning capabilities. Your skin is coated with an anti radiation finish. Your joints are a premium, extra flexible variety. And the most important thing your hands. Oh, yeah, you can't work about the hands, can you? Oh, what about them? I don't know how moil your body is under your clothes. The tongue, joints, and skin are really interesting. But your hands are the the MERD 113 of Realtor Industries. A model designed to shoot class 5 bullets from its face. What? You can shoot bullets? You can fucking shoot me with your love gun. Z so? Oh, she looks sad. Oh no. Clause G of Article 17, the Augmentations and Modifications Law on the Topic of Ballistic Augmentations. So she's Aegis? Any humanoid or sapient creature under civilian designation that has upgraded any of its person. 
To hold firearms of class 3 grade or high will be either commissioned for disarmament or sent to the danger zones. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Hey? I'm not in law enforcement. I just do rescue. And if I was, I'm not in duty right now. Hey! You ain't no law whore. No way. I know though. Why go through with that upgrade? The girl's gotta take care of herself, you know? I wanna be able to deal with things that get ugly. And this is the most discreet mod I had. I wonder if there is actually an alignment chart of all the characters in Valhalla. There's an alignment chart for everything nowadays. Oh, at least I thought so. You know what, Jerry, you're right. Yeah. I'd say Ben is about. Uh, 40, maybe 50% say. In terms of behavior, but not in terms of affiliation. Definitely not. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, then. Can I give you some advice? You can wait. You can make one, Mac? Ooh. I'll uh, keep that in mind for when I beat the game. Uh, I guess. The reason I could tell it's not your default hand model. Default hand model is your fingertips. The tips are a little bigger to make the cans fit. You can get a small mod that changes them into disposable tips. Assuming they're being used for self-defense and not regular use, of course. Hey man, it's all about a tip. Oh, but a lot of people. Myself included. I, I see. Well, I've got to go. Oh yeah, another thing. If you aim for the arms or the legs, once is self-defense. Anything more is assault. It, yeah. Bye Dorothy, bye Jill. Ooh, did that hit home? Bye bye. Please come again. Bye. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta get the screenshot when her mouth is the widest. It's the only way. I'll take multiple. One of them's gotta be it. <laughs> Look at the freaking animu cry. God, Dorothy, stop it! You're hogging all the emotes. It's not fair. Why are your expression so top tier? Damn it. I would put my mind on a vacuum cleaner for three years! Too if I behave well. That's what happens when you underestimate people. Well, I'm tempted to ask, man, mostly Wanda would say Dom. I can see her doing it. If she knows her shit, which she kind of did for that one moment. About what? DNA reading tongue? Very prehensible. Intuitive. Oh, so it vibrates! Extra flexible joints. Do you really need to ask? She's got a point. Anti radiation coating? Hey, my skin's my first tour of the trade. I need to take care of it as much as possible. And it makes it feel so soft no matter how much it's been battered. Cry and stop that with a friend now. There's still one more to complete the set. Oh, that's got to be done. Doesn't matter what character it is, if there's an emote worthy face, no matter whose face it's on, it's going to be worthy. It's like a Valma! No matter who you are, where you come from, you're going to be worthy. <laughs> so I made Dorothy so kind of a six. Please send me that. Alright then. So you fancy yourself a diviner? Reading people and all? Not really. I'm just quite good at reading people. I guess it's a byproduct of dealing with so many people on a daily basis. It's a bit surreal to hear that from a him. Oh god, I'm hiccuping. I'm not pissed, you're pissed. What can you say about me then? Let's see. Hmm. You're very, very, very sexually frustrated. That's kind of hot. It's not the act itself, but rather that your partners can't seem to satisfy you in a deeper level. Man, or oh, who is up to the challenge of pleasing Jewel Stingray? Oh man, holy shit. Mate, Jill has got some standards that makes her incredibly fucking hot. <laughs> Oh man, why is she so perfect? 
There's an even deeper frustration. Something's happened that's blocking you. Oh, we've all got that. Maybe there's someone who you know who won't return your feelings. Maybe you were hurt in the past. Fuss, your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life is playing tricks on her. Like a dog who's never never really throws the ball. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Oh boy, did I actually hit the nail on the head? I was making this stuff up on the fly. Oh, that was just rubbish, I say, because it's right 8% of the time. You were a better fortune to than hero ever was. Generic bullshit, if you will. You'd be surprised at the amount of sexual frustration people hold. I mean, it's generic for a reason, because it happens a lot to people. <laughs> Everyone's up for it, myself included. We can do it, boys. Together, we can please Jill Stingray, the ultimate girl. <laughs> but this definitely gives me more insight into you. Lucky, lucky. Aren't you late or something? I am. If you let me satisfy your frustrations, like a stool for- You're always so perfect! You are perfect in your own way, Dorothy. Like, someone who's actually willing to help satisfy the frustrations? Mate, I've been waiting for a long time myself, don't worry. Go. <laughs> fine, fine. Bye bye, honey. Artificial intelligence has come rather far, eh? One wonders how artificial it remains. Sharp, fuck, bri. <laughs> yeah. Everything done. Yeah. Hey, boss. This might seem random, but do you remember the first time I came to the bar? When you came to submit your contract. Yeah. Why? Well, for some reason, I've been hung up on it since this morning, and I just realised why. The visage that welcomed me back then was Gil trying to pull your hand out of a jaw. Oh yeah, that! He helped you get a helmet off your head as well. I can't remember what exactly, but something fell inside and I tried to retrieve it. I just kind of put my hand in and it got stuck. There's a friend's jar too, so I couldn't just break it. It wasn't a ship in a bottle bottle, was it? Hey Gil, can't you get my hand out of that jar? A straw and some butter. Oh yeah, clever solution. Yeah, and that brings me to a random thought. That incident, the helmet yesterday, the many times your foot got stuck on something for stomping on it. Boss, why do you get stuck in so many different things? Ah. Uh, now you mentioned it. I remember this one time she tried to eat a big sandwich and her jaw got stuck. Everything just gets stuck with Dana, it's kind of adorable. No way, it's true. See you later. Thanks for joining the stream. Good to see you live again. Remember, the rest of VOD will be here in the archives, but we'll probably be streaming for like another 10 minutes, I reckon. Man, the law and Dana. But now it's instant with the TV. I'm in my fault with the others, but the TV instant was not my fault. The assembly instructions for that stand should have labelled their Z and S bell. You saw what happened, Jojo totally didn't pop into my mind, when I switched the S2 piece to the 5Z one. Still, Jill's onto something here. <clears throat> yeah, she is. Now go clean the dishes and you can leave for today. I don't think she'll make an effort now to avoid getting stuck in things. I want to believe. And that's it. We are done. Total earnings. We got over 10k. Drinks total is 340. I think you get more money when you put more, um, when no drinks are bigger. Mistake zero! Three days in a row. Commission 30%. Today's payments are 102. We got 854 tips. Woo! For the service. Everything will turn out alright in the end. And don't worry. What is that? That bonus one. Huh. Oh, it's not a reference to the to the Giorno drink, was it by any chance? Water is the Earth's common. The Earth's common. I mean, uh, it doesn't really taste of much, but it sobers you up. Big drinks are worth more. 
They are. Oh, cool. So we'll get more in the bigger the drinks are as well. Today's total transfer is 17, 52. Total funds are 3,116. I know it's crow. We're finishing up anyway, so you're on the best, on the best part of the stream. Thanks for joining, man. Hope you cook yourself a good dinner. And we're back. Eight hundred dollars has been charged to your account for a new membership to Shining Fingered. Dual subscription got renewed. You have no problem focusing at work today. Welcome, Jill. Real out that website, ha? Huh. I have needs. All right, the shop. We got over two k. See, we got. Oh, hey, this was a uh, plane in the shop. Oh, I can't remember the name of this track. Someone remind me. Oh, hang on a minute. No, it tells you what she wants, doesn't it? Oh, happy not birthday. Doesn't look like it's telling me this time. Alright, let's see what we got then. Uh, we've got the lucky cat. That's bullshit. We've got cute clay houses. I wonder what happens if we buy everything. Cutesy game poster. Post for some cutesy game about a pink head witch flower in a broom. Say 300. Let's do it. Decorate the room a little bit. Mega Christmas tree. Celebrate the bastard's eye. The bastard's eye. The part ba 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 bastardized commercial version. I'm already bastardized celebration. Hey, it's like a time, lucky. And yeah, it's bastardized. Also, I will save this and I will call you out on stream. Hannah. You are absolutely uh, really difficult. To buy a Christmas card for. And I won't say why. I think it gets us to why it was really hard. Uh, shoulder massager. For those days we'd be out too much tension. Sure. What well, woman like a so I have a shoulder, but I it's time to end the stream. <laughs> Paper lantern. I need to make sure I've got eight hundred dollars, so I can't go over six hundred. Definitely not that. Crap drama. Figurine with a beard that grows. Let's go for it. Awesome. Exactly, Irish. It's impossible. Like the closest I'll get to is like Rasputin's dick, which is 13 inches. I have to get, I have to break into the museum that's actually got it on display, and give that to Hannah somehow. That shit's hard, man. That museum's got a lot of security. You'd be surprised how many lasers surround a 13-inch dick. That's a fact, by the way. Look it up, if you dare. All right, let's look at the phone. Let's look at the D. Alright. Oh, more ass rabbit friends. It's a fishy happening. What do you think will happen? Probably nothing. Last time I was just for leaks. I think all oh, the leaks. We live by the leaks. We don't have the leaks. We are highly judgmental by the leaks. I think Alice jumped to the shark with that one because it seems so hard to top. Maybe more leaks? Sounds unlikely. I don't think the government would let that happen twice. But this is Alice we're talking about. There's nothing they can't do. What if that spooky message wasn't really Alice, but just an epic prank, bro? What would hack a site like this just for a prank? Mm, not me. Hey, Yenix, thanks for follow, man. Mm, not me. You're right, though. It might be something else. Well, I'll have to wait and see. What's the date again? December 17th. Sick meme, sis. Pfft. These Alice threads piss me off. Fucking Easter lives. Hmm. What have they something to do with the terrorism rumors? Hmm. A deeper lore. Scared? A bit. Click on Jill. Oh shit! What? Oh my god! I activated something inside her! Is she pissed off? 
I know what that means in anime. When you got bubbles floating up, they pop. That's why our sprites have got it as well when we're lagged up. That's kind of adorable. Possibly an emote. Can I pick her again? Nah, she's just adorable. Bless her. Shoulder massage. Oh, this is the shoulder massager? Oh, my hand. My hands were shoulder massager. That's amazing. Get her right in the kinks. Right where the shoulder is. There you go. Our family is known to be very good with massages, by the way. My mother is indeed a massage therapist. And, uh, well, let's just say she taught me a few things here and there. Hey, man, if you ever want a free shoulder massage from yours truly, I'll give you a good one, trust me. And free as well. Don't need a service. I already know it's perfect. 100% guarantee. That's awesome. It's not being used on shoulders. She's using the shoulder massager. Shoulder. What? 